Hello and welcome to my latest instalment or next instalment or the future instalment of, as you can tell from the title, Cliff Richards and yours. This is heading, in, heading into the early 80s from the late 70s. <laughs> I was worried about that the wrong way, but it sounded all right. Now this one is kind of interesting in that um, this is... The Rocket Record Company copy of Green Light, and it appears to be a mono stereo single. I must admit, I haven't played played it to see if this is true. It might be false advertising for all I know. Either that, or it could be so badly mixed you wouldn't know either side. It's like, oh, is that the stereo one? Oh, I can't tell. Oh well. Nothing else you can say that you've got a bit of green light on your rocket. Better than a uh, red light, hey? Cliff wouldn't sing about any of that sort of thing. Though if we listen to the lyrics of Devil Woman... Then he, he wasn't all that thrilled with Honky Tonk Angel, was he? And next up is the UK pressing of Carrie. Carrie doesn't mean him. Though I suppose some people would see that and think... Is that an unofficial theme song to that movie? I can't imagine Cliff singing a song like that either. Either that, or it could be about Carrie Fisher. Mm, no. It's just about some chick who lives on the second floor in a room or something like that anyway. But I bet people called Carrie were popular after all of that though. Especially those who lived on second floor. <laughs> Ding dong, hi, is there a Carrie that lives on the second floor? <laughs> Go away! Ooh. That's just a little bit too close to a certain Carrie. Okay, well I'm carrying on a bit much now. I think next. But while we're on the topic of Carrie, here is the Dutch copy of Carrie. They really utilised that whole rock and roll juvenile look, didn't they? And next up is the UK copy of We Don't Talk Anymore, as you can clearly see. Now, there, there seemed to be a thing... There, there seemed to be a bit of a trend of photographing Cliff from below. So here is Carrie, he's blue, and with Not Talking Anymore, he's rocking the satin. And he's all red. Oh, and he's doing the big fist pump too. Ooh, how raunchy. The worst part about that is that it looks like he's got eye makeup on. He looks like a kind of mixture of Katrina from Katrina and the Waves, Susie Quattro and Mick Jagger. And, oh, this photo will look familiar. Except it's a different song, yeah. Hot shot. So we've got a, we've got a choice. They they've decided. Oh no, we we can either go with a with Carrie or Hot Shot. There we are. Just slightly different colours. Uh, this is the UK pressing. I love how they make a point of that guitar being plugged in, but I wonder if the amps were turned on. And next up is the British copy of Dreamin'. Looks like a little bit too much Vaseline was smeared on the lens there, doesn't it? Oh, let, let's break out the gauze. Though I suppose it could be worse. There we go. Can barely see him at all now. Yeah, all right, back to normal. There we go. Either that or it's such a reflection of that shirt that it's created that effect. The background makes it look like he's ready to do a stand-up routine or something. <laughs> and next up is, funnily enough, the UK. <laughs> got most of these from the UK. UK copy of A Little In Love. Nice top. Are they eagles? I don't know. Is that the ring wear? Yeah, the ring wear isn't exactly in the best position, is it? Yes, so there he is, sitting all cross-legged there. 
That would be more amusing if he was in the lotus position. There. Oh dear. Um. Anyway, some some countries had different. Uh, as as you can see, as you've seen, some countries have different uh, picture sleeves and things like that. But some countries also uh, released singles that other countries didn't. And case in point, this one from Germany, In the Night. He certainly looks like he's trying to avoid the mugshot there, doesn't he? Do your tie up, Cliff. But the thing I found was the other side of this, the picture sleeve they've given that the, is appalling. It makes him look more like Ronnie Wood than Cliff Richard. It's terrible. Oh well. I suppose if nothing else, he's got the boxing gloves, so if anybody should argue with him, he'll give them a nice punch. And I don't mean with cordial and lemonade either. And the next one up is from the USA. And we've got Cliff looking all blue and moody there. Well, he wants us to give a bit more. I think in this case, it should have been a bit more lighting. Maybe that's where that look on his face is coming from. Uh, can I have a little bit more light, please? Oh, well, I can fix that. There we go. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> yeah, all right. A bit, uh, a bit garish. All right. Well, we'll put that back then. There we are. Back to far too dark. And next up, we've got the German pressing to wide for sound. Look familiar? As we can see, it's in keeping with the tradition of photographing Cliff from the bottom of the stage, looking up. I guess that's maybe to make him. Looked like we can we can see he's concentrating on his chords there, can't we? Maybe he's worried as to whether he is wired for sound or not. Yeah. And what they've used for the album cover here on the back of this thing was terrible. They've really done some dreadful reproductions here, haven't they? It looks like he's. Um... <laughs> Though well, it says wired for sound, he does look like he's being electrocuted. I think that's about as far as I'll go with that. <laughs> I like small people. I wonder what him liking small people and all that was all about. I guess as long as they were wired for sound, you didn't care what, what they were built like. I suppose as, as, as long as they could mount his speakers, that was the main thing. <laughs> Yes, just just be careful on those railway tracks there, Cliff. I get, I get. <laughs> he copped a lot of um, flack for that. I actually, um, yeah, he copped a lot of flack for the the video clip to this. I just remember that where people was there saying, "Oh, being a bit irresponsible, roller skating on railway tracks there, Cliff." Um, one would assume that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can just imagine it now, sort of like pe people going on ra skate, uh, roller skating on railway tracks because Cliff Richard inspired them to. It just doesn't sound quite right. Oh, why did you do that? Why did you roller skate on those railway tracks? Oh, because I saw Cliff Richard do it. It just doesn't sound right. Well, you never know. Then again, that was 1981. This day and age, who knows? That's just it. Who knows? All right. Well, I suppose on, on that note, I shall skate off into the ether. And if you like this, please do all the lights and subscribes and the bells and the whistles and all that kind of stuff. Because I'm wired for sound. <laughs> anyway, uh, please take care of yourself and... When my ears recover, I hopefully shall see you in the next one. Ciao. <laughs> Don't know what that was all about. But anyway, please take care. Ciao.